Hello and what is up guys? Vito here back at it again with another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at this point and shoot Olympus Stylus 150. You feel me? Let me just show y'all real quick. Literally, I bought this like sometime last year for like 15, 20 bucks. They're like actually selling this now for about a hundred dollars. So but we're going to be talking a lot more of it once we get back to the crib. But first off, I'm going to show you how to put the battery in. This does take a CR123A battery, which are these small batteries right here. You just put it to the side as so, close the compartment. And to basically turn on the camera, all you need to do is slide this like this. The flash comes up, built-in flash, mind you. And this lens is a zoom lens. It's a 37.5 by 150 millimeter lens. So, and especially dealing with street photography, the zoom lens is a gem. So, but yeah, enough of me talking. Let's go out and shoot. All right, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to load the 35 in the 35, you feel me? Uh, let's turn it on first. All right, close up of the cam real quick. All right. This is my first time actually loading film in this camera. Mind you, I've had this camera for a year now, so. Bang. You see, you put the roll in here. Oh, malfunction a little bit here. And then just close it. Like so. Also, there's like a little window. So just in case you forget, um, it says portrait 836. And this is the f very first shot. So yeah. Um, Let's get started. <laughs> I'm a count to three. Oh, there's a dog. Okay, yo. Okay, guys. There's a dog. There's two people and a dog. So let's see if we could get them. We're going to count to three. All right. One, two. Damn. Wow. Just missed it. All right. All right, all right, all right. There's another person coming. All right. One, two. Three. All right. One thing to just keep in mind is you can press this button right here, the middle button, and it cancels out the flash. If you don't press this button, then when, while you're taking a picture, the flash will go off. So you don't wanna, you're trying to be as less noticeable as possible, especially when it comes to street photography. So you definitely want to have such an option on the camera because you don't want to have the flash going off, you know, every shot, you feel me? So let me see if I can get the scooter. Actually, let me get it like this. Hold on, hold on. I gotta put my bag off to the side real quick. All right, let's see if I can get the scooter. Go back just a little bit. Get the angles. All right, one, two, three. That, that was that was probably fire. All right, one, two, three. All right, count to three. One, one, two, three. One thing I don't like about this camera, like straight off the back is when I'm taking the pictures, right? It's hard cause like your middle finger, my middle finger keeps pushing this back. So it ends up closing the camera. So it's very frustrating that I'm shooting and literally it's making me have to force myself to close the camera. So once this touches the lens, 
the whole setup just closes. So I'm trying to take a picture of the Pats once again. It's like forcing my middle finger to um, close the camera every time I press the shutter button. All right, so the next spot we're heading to is the flaming looking building over there, Gino Steaks. We're gonna take a couple pictures there and then we're gonna go even further in to the Italian market. I mean, technically, I don't like to call this the Italian market because it's, ne it's necessarily not here, but once you walk further down, that's where the Italian market is, where the food and all the other stuff is. But we're gonna take a picture. We're gonna take a couple pictures of this building right here. All right, all right. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, let me get a picture of these flowers. One, two, three. Shot was good. Uh, actually, yeah, let me do it from this side. That's the angle I was thinking Yeah, that's perfect. One, two, three. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much. Hello, thank you guys so much, as I always like to say, for just coming on here and just tuning into my video. And you know, this video in itself is very important because it's the last video of the year. This is the last week, so definitely wanted to put out something, especially because the fact that I've been dropping at least a video every month this year. So, and I haven't really dropped any videos this month because I, I just been busy, but definitely wanted to at least drop one in the month of December, you feel me? But yeah, 2022 is basically next week. Dealing with just this year in general, besides the whole pandemic, I feel like, you know, it's it was basically like the same thing as it was dealing with 2020. But um, yeah, plenty of opportunities came knocking at my door, decided to take them head on. So I'm just very grateful about just everything that happened. One of the biggest projects that I did do dealt with my job if you guys don't know i shoot for dtlr as their in-house videographer and we did a project a whole project dealing with the cool grays and you know they had this whole situation at washington dc and they displayed my work and a couple artists work as well at a kind of like an art gallery type of vibe but yeah that was like i was just like wow and you know it was literally jordan and DTLR side by side dealing with the whole event. So that in itself to be able to be a part of that, that was so great. But yeah, enough of me talking about my year. Once again, I'm very grateful for all the opportunities that presented themselves this year. But yeah, enough of that talk. Let's talk a little bit about the Olympus Stylus 150. So yeah, this camera dropped in 2003, September 25th, 2003. So that's like 18 years ago, but damn, like it still works like a charm, as you guys can see by the photos that were taken. And yeah, like this camera, you guys let me know in the comments below. I feel like this is, this is gonna turn into a talk of that viral dress that everybody had seen. I swear everybody's seen it, dealing with if the dress was either blue or gold. Anyways, this camera looks like it's gold to me. My brother said it looks silver, but you guys let me know in the comments below, is this gold or silver? <laughs> but nah, anyways, yeah, this camera is a gem. I was just fairly surprised at how crystal clear, mind you, this is just a, this is a point and shoot, but how clear the photos came out, you know? I did a video, which I'll actually put that in the description below, but I did a video on another point and shoot, the Canon Sure, sure Shot, 
here's right here the canon sure shot ace is a tongue twister i did a video on that on this camera and the photos compared to the photos here so those photos dealing with the canon sure shot ace it's a little bit grainy compared to these photos though the, the the photos that you get dealing with this point and shoot i would have to say it's just so crystal clear and yeah once again i was just pretty happy pretty stoked at the fact that of just how clear the photos came out you feel me so so yeah the camera itself is weatherproof and it also weighs about 1.2 pounds which isn't a lot at all so you can basically place it into your pocket and you know yeah just the size of it you know not just the weight but just the size of it it's just so small so compact so easy to actually use another thing i really enjoyed about this camera dealing with its feature it dealt with the back of it where it numbered how many shots you have left you know me particularly i don't ever see that on a point and shoot i've never actually seen it on a point and shoot the way it's done like this on the back you know once you've loaded the film and you know closed close the back of it it starts at one you shoot again that indicates that you're at the second shot and it just keeps on going keeps on going till it hits 36 shots or you know how many ever shots you have dealing with the roll but yeah once it hit 36 shots you've taken the photo it rewinds the number back to zero that's when you can open up the back and then you know take the film out and either you know put it in your canister to get it developed somewhere or you do the whole developing thing at your house but that was a very enjoyable feature of mine damn it really is 2022 next week it's crazy but no thank you guys so much all this year for the utmost support because you know i've been going hard I'm, i've been trying to you know inform you guys of you know a lot of things you know a lot of things dealing with film throughout this year and you know i just you know i just thank you guys for the support once again highly recommend this camera especially if you cannot afford a context um yeah compared to the contacts this is very much so way cheaper i feel like the contacts dealing with the prices is only going up because of how many celebrities actually own a contacts which is yeah pretty crazy every time i see a celeb i'm like damn there goes the price but uh but yeah thank you guys once again see you guys in 2022 but yeah this is vito once again signing off i'm gonna catch you guys later